Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jack Brayman, and welcome to another episode of Embarrassing Myself in Front of a Camera. And today, of course, we've also got the smagdabulin, beautiful, I don't know where I'm going with this. Gabrielle Moses. So yesterday, we went and ate, and we got in a couple of fights, of course, as couples tend to do, and of course, she was being very annoying, and it was all her fault, so I'm sitting here, and I'm like, what what could I what could I do to make a video? So I come to the conclusion that I need to make a video about annoying things girls do, because I feel like there are some of you out there that need to hear this and be educated, because otherwise, we're gonna have her. Ah, oh, your hands are so cold. So that is correct. We're gonna be doing annoying things girls do, so sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see you at the end of this video. The first one is when she steals your food, which I take Jack's food a lot, but he I'm also- Wait, 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 this is my list. Why are you saying that this is annoying when girls do, if you're a girl? Because you tell me how annoying it is sometimes. Okay. And then I'm thinking, like, it's annoying whenever he does it to me. Okay, so whenever she reaches over, or he reaches over your plate with their fork and just goes right into your food, digs in without even asking. He can't even defend himself right now because he knows it's true. I thought I was supposed to be roasting you, not you roasting me. When a girl steals your food, so typically when you go out, this isn't really with us because she pays and I pay, she pays and I pay, but normally the guy pays for the food, right? So the guy's gonna buy the food, he buys his food and buys your food, and if you, you know, say, I don't want this, but then he wants it, so he buys it, he orders it, and he orders it and he gets it, and then you try to take his food that he ordered that you said you didn't want. Oh, hot diddly. That's a problem. See, girls love Starbucks, right? So, okay, so, um, imagine you get the, what, what's the what's the one that you always get? The Vanilla like bean frappuccino. A vanilla bean frappuccino, the holy grail of Starbucks. You get one, right? And you ask your boyfriend, because you're paying, you know? You ask him, do you want one? He says, no, babe, I'm not hungry or whatever, right? You get it, and he tries to drink all of it. Which is exactly what he does to me. I'm not saying I don't do that, Gabrielle. I'm saying it's annoying when girls do it. I mean, I'm, I'm helping the viewer, okay? You'll have your chance, okay? okay. We'll do a video, annoying things, guys do but right now it's annoying things girls do so I get to talk okay deal deal I was going for a handshake you just went for like a weird I don't know what that was <laughs> this is another terrible thing that girls do it's so annoying so brutally annoying and kind of disrespectful luckily Gabrielle has this the opposite of this which is basically when you show up late to things all the time Gabrielle's always early like right now it's like 1 40 she wasn't supposed to be here until like 2 o'clock but she got here 30 minutes early okay I'm early to being early all the time because I'm like oh I should be 10 minutes early and then I'm like oh wait what if that's not early enough so I'm always super early like and for school school starts at 8 o'clock and I get there at like 720 in the morning Yeah, you're weird. No, who, who who does that? And she lives like 20 minutes away from school, right? So she's getting up at like 530 to get to school early when there's like nothing to gain from that Like honestly, what do you do? She'll literally I'll literally get to school like five minutes before it starts And then I'll check my phone once I get there and I'll get like three texts from her asking me where I am Yeah, yeah, yeah that's are you are you are you denying that? I'm denying that 100%. How? What are you doing? Because I sometimes have homework that I didn't finish like this weekend I forgot my homework. Why do you have to do it? School. Why do you have to do it at school? Because I forgot it. But that very rarely happens. This is like this every is the day. First time. This is every day. When you're annoyingly late to everything, I mean, I don't really need to sit here and explain that anymore. You just, 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 just know to get there at least sort of on time. I'm talking like if you say you want to go to a movie at two o'clock and the movie starts at two ten and you're not there till two forty five, you're an ass. You're never really that late, and that's like good because you're a guy, and most guys run late. Don't you think? Gabrielle, the insult after insult after insult has to stop. Do you see what I have to deal with in this hallway? It's ridiculous. Okay, we got this huge lighting kit behind us. My eyes are burning. I'm sweaty. And all I can get is just her insulting me. It's rid it's ridiculous. I cannot work in these I'm standards. I'm sorry. I can't I'm work sorry. in these conditions. Just hug me. It'll make you feel better. Oh, God. Help! Hug Help! 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 We're going down rubber ducky! Now we're gonna move on to the next one. When she can't put her phone down. <gasps> I suffer from this one. I suffer oh, from man, this I'm one. Oh man, I'm about to go. I'm about Real to go. Bad. I'm about to get brutal. Cause sometimes I'm like, oh, I should probably check my phone. Look at Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. We could be doing anything. She could be up my butthole all day long about wanting to go eat at some place, right? And we'll get there. And it'll be about a 30 minute wait. And I guarantee you that 35 minutes of that 30 wait. That didn't make any sense. 
That did not make any sense. 35 minutes of the 30 minute wait. Ignore that. We'll be sitting there waiting and you know you're thinking that she's gonna have a conversation with you? No. You better bet that she knows what everyone's posting on Snapchat and Instagram because good lord griefy gosh she's on her phone 100% of the time. It's ridiculous. It has to stop. I'm just laughing because it's true. Like I can't even say anything about it. And I can't really help it. Being on your phone is an addiction. So we've spent like the last five minutes letting her conclude that she's addicted to her phone. I think we get the point. I think we can move on. This is so annoying. This this one, I want y'all to listen to this one and just write it down, write it on, get it tatted on your forehead. I don't care, okay? This one's pretty serious. When a guy compliments you, take the compliment. Now you can normally differentiate between a genuine compliment and someone that's just trying to grab your butt or something, you know what I'm saying? But most of the time, he's not trying to grab your butt. He's just trying to be nice or maybe woo you or maybe ask you on a nice dinner. Maybe not, you know, maybe especially if you're younger, maybe he just wants to play with you on the playground. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so- well, no, no, uh, 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 <laughs> What matters? What matters is that he took the time to think of something that he likes about you and even have the courage to let you know about it. And I'll do- I used to do this a lot and girls would look at me like I was some kind of psychotic maniac like I'm like I'm about to just like just start like levitating towards their boobs or something it's ridiculous it's ridiculous I mean sometimes a guy's just trying to be nice and culture would have you thinking that he's trying to do some freaky stuff just by complimenting you like if you're walking down the street and some guy compliments you just take it and walk away unless it's like really weird like like if you're walking down the street and some guy that you don't know compliments you just just accept it and even if it is kind of weird just accept it just keep walking maybe just ignore him okay so now I'm gonna say something to like defend and all those girls who can't take a compliment because I know how it is sometimes a guy gives you a compliment and you can't tell if he's being sarcastic or not <laughs> he does this all the time he says it in a very sarcastic way so sometimes I'm like I don't believe you and it's because he is super sarcastic and I just either want him to be like yeah you are gorgeous or yeah you are my favorite I just want to hear it again but like girls say that so they're fishing for even more compliments oh. like honestly if you guys agree with me just like comment down below because I know Oh, that's true like girls fish for more, more compliments when they're given one compliment so basically when a guy compliments you you try to attempt to boost your confidence even more by basically <laughs> making you sound like a piece of poop so that they think you're like a sparkling piece of poop or something basically kind of well said Jack there you go if a guy compliments you, in most cases, okay, you know, sometimes you're obviously gonna have that guy that's just a complete douchebag asshole maniac, alright, but in most cases, if a guy likes something about you, but not only that, he took the time to really decipher what it really is that he likes about you and then got the courage to point it out to your face, just give him a moment to feel proud of himself, I mean, good lord, I mean, good lord, griefy, gosh, have mercy, he just wants to, he just wants to get some recognition for himself, like maybe say, oh, thank you, make him feel like you even give a crap because otherwise you're just gonna either make him hate you be confused like make him even more insecure than he already was maybe even cry I mean that was me when I used to compliment her all the time I would go home crying because she was such an asshole I, I was really mean to him for no apparent reason Our no reason grade, she used to be so mean and to freshman me. year and when people say that, like I'm mean to you I'm like I could be the meanest person ever and it's still not gonna make up for how mean you were to me. Next one, this video just gets spicier and spicier, but this one's a pretty damn good one too, okay? When a girl expects a guy to read her mind. Gabrielle does this a lot. We're in the car. Hey, we're vlogging too, so you know she can't get too mad at me because I might put it in the video, but we'll be in the car. Hey, where do you wanna eat? I don't know. Okay, you wanna eat at Qdoba? I don't know. All right, how about this new Italian place over here? You know, it's pretty good. They got some pretty good burgers. I don't know. Alright, fine. Let's, you know, Qdoba's pretty close. Let's just go to Qdoba. So we drive to Qdoba, we get there, we're ordering. What do you want? I don't know. I, didn't, I just didn't really want to eat here. I, I don't really even like Qdoba. Why did you take me here? That's not what happened. That is 100% no, no, no. what happens. This is the more accurate way it actually happens. So Jack and I will be going out to eat, and he'll be like, So, where do you want to go eat? And I'll be like, Eh, I don't know. I don't really care. And then he'll say this one restaurant that I do not like, and it's like burgers and stuff, and he'll name that one restaurant. And I'll be like, no, I don't want to go there. And he's like, you just said you don't care. And I'm like, I just said I don't want to go there. That's the one place I don't want to go. And then he'll name another restaurant, the second restaurant that I hate the most. And then I'll be like, no, I don't want to go there either. And then Jack will be like, but I thought you said you don't care. And then I'll be like, actually, just let me pick. That's how it actually happens. Man, you just keep going. I don't even know what this story was about. I couldn't, I couldn't hardly listen to it, but ah! another, why are you grabbing my thigh, you freak? Another pretty good, stop. Also, whenever you're like texting someone and you're trying 
trying to make plans and they don't want to say what they want to do and then you make up a plan and an idea and a thesis and everything and guess what you know that doesn't work for her but you don't know that because when you asked her about it she was just like yeah that sounds fun two smiley emojis or whatever and then you get there and she's just pissed off because this is not what she wanted to do this is Gabrielle Moses in a nutshell ladies and gentlemen in our last relationship type video we were like talking about how we could talk telepathically like with and blinking go and then you flare your nostrils but this doesn't actually happen you obviously can't just go and read someone's mind so the moral of the story is for one that doesn't work but also don't ju don't just think that a guy can read your mind be confident say something buh, buh. <laughs> I, I think what does that mean they know exactly what that meant. It means you're getting frustrated. It means it means it's so obvious to me, I can't even fathom the words or how it goes. Okay, if you've been with a girl long enough, you should be able to like kind of predict what she's going to say and what she's going to want and what she's going to need. So yes, you sometimes should be able to read my mind. Yeah, so like I'll ask Gabrielle, hey, do you want to hang out? And I'll just, I'll, I just assume she's going to say no. <laughs> what are you doing, you freak? Making you feel uncomfortable. Okay, so the next one is. Where are you going? I'm spitting on my gum. Because it's Sometimes she'll just get up and leave, and I just won't know what to do with myself. Okay, so the next one is when she guilts you. Sometimes. Where did you just come from? So sometimes I make Jack feel really, really bad on purpose. Like he'll forget something. <laughs> Valentine's Day last year. He just forgets some stuff sometimes and I just make him feel so bad about it, which he completely deserves. Gabrielle, I, I have a question. Where did you get Two weeks late for my birthday. <laughs> One thing Gabrielle will do all the time is she'll guilt me into like making me think that I should have thought about doing something after I should have probably done it. Like for example, I'll like walk into her house and she'll look at me like I'm some kind of disgusting pig. She's like, hey, and then she'll just walk away. Apparently, I'm supposed to say, Gabrielle, how was your day? How are you? You smell delicious. Let me give you a hug. There you go. But no, I mean, I don't because I don't even really know why I don't. But like, you should see it. When I walk into Gabrielle's house, like the only thing I really get is a, hey, hey. It's like this nasally Squidward sounding, hey, why are you here so early? Why did you even come? Go home. Stop now. Stop. I, bought, I I literally bought her a new computer, monitor, mouse, keyboard, everything. Brought it to her house, set it all up. I get there with the keyboard and everything, the mouse, the, the computer and everything, and she lit literally goes, why did you bring that? Am I wrong or am I right? No, I was like, oh my gosh, why did you bring that? Like, you're awesome. You're no. Great. So the next one is whenever she says, fine. You know what that means when a girl just says, fine, with a period, or okay, with Are a period. Are you a lesbian? No. It sounds weird, you saying. Okay, well, this is your video, and I'm just saying some input, and I'm just saying what the topic I is. I understand. But or like, whenever just, just, he. I wrote these down. She's getting them off my phone. That's. Or whatever he says, okay, fine, or okay, or K. Just K. That makes me so mad. And that's so annoying. And like, I do it to him to just make him mad because he deserves it. Gabrielle, I, but I, I never I deserve never, that. I've never sent you K unless I was kidding. Like, I have like a rule in my mind that I don't send Okay, that I've to sent you. that to you. I was gonna I've say, I'd never say stuff I've like that because I'm not twice. petty. I'm not, I don't get mad and then want to stay mad. I like just do my own thing. Gabrielle's the complete opposite. When she gets pissed off, you better bet she wants me to know about it. We went to a restaurant, she didn't want to go eat there. You, you, I promise you, 100% true story, she was gonna walk home. She was walking the other direction and it was restaurant. raining and now. it was raining man Gabrielle you 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 outsmarted me baby <laughs> and he literally asked me he was like so what point are you trying yeah, to make like, and I was like I'm, I'm making a, I was like I'm making a point that I'm stubborn and I'm not just gonna do what you say I'm gonna do whatever I want to do she wants to walk three miles in the cold stubborn disgusting rain it was like the drizzling rain like it wasn't even like hardcore raining it was just that awful drizzling foggy sad moist Moist. I hate that so word. Moist. Don't say that word. It is a moist Don't and soggy stop. and rainy stop. day. Okay, so the next one is when she holds grudges. Did I poke you? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <coughs> You're forgiving for everything you've ever done. <laughs> when a girl holds grudges, it's just so unnecessary because most of the time it would almost make them look better if they were just to get over it and move on and act like they don't care. I mean, of course you're gonna care a little bit, but if you act like you don't care, and it could be, you could be mad at a guy or a girl, but if you take the high road, act like you don't give a crap, 
and you just move on, it'll almost make them more upset if you don't care. One more thing and then we're done. Ladies and gentlemen, you've made it this far to the end. You might as well stick around for the grand finale. The one thing that I cannot stand, so annoying, so brutally annoying, is when girls ask questions that they already know the answer to or they're looking for an answer that will piss them off. So if Gabrielle asks me a question, a simple question, she's like, hey, what did you do tonight? And I told her that I was going to do homework. That's why I couldn't hang out. But she knows better and knows all I did was play video games. But she's still going to ask me to see if I lie or not. And of course, I have to lie because there's always that one slim chance that she has no idea and I can get away with it. But probably not. So she'll ask me it. I'll tell, tell her the truth or I'll lie. Either way, I'm screwed. And then she'll freak out on me about how like I'm such a terrible person, how I should have gone to dinner with her. But in reality, it's just double XP weekend on Call of Duty and I'm trying to get my prestige in. Gabrielle, do you not understand this? No, I do not understand this because it's a video game. It's not real. Grades or video game. Grades, video games. Okay, but Jack does get good grades, but I just get mad at him because he could do even like better. Like really good grades. Like he does get like, like really all good A's. Grades. Anyways, you guys get the point. If you ask a question, don't be expecting an answer that's going to piss you off because that's going to piss the guy off more. And if he doesn't act like it did, trust me, baby, it did. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you weren't too offended. I, I know I, under, I understand that my personality, I come off kind of strong sometimes, but hopefully you made it through and didn't die. Be sure to check us both out on social media down below. I don't understand why you guys don't do that. We do so much cool stuff. We look so good. We do so much editing on our pictures. We look spectacular. Turn on my video notifications or you will die. Also, once again, I do have a rubber ducky, rubber ducky t-shirt on, so be sure to check that out as well as I strangle my girlfriend to death. Turn on our video notifications or you will die because for some reason people are always like, when do you post? I didn't know you post. Well, turn on my video notifications and you won't have that problem. Problem, but that's about it. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you ah. in the next one that hurt my chin or my jaw or my whatever I'm grabbing the wrong called. side of my yeah, head. Yeah, Gabrielle. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jack Freeman. This is Gabrielle Moses, and today we're going to be doing something extra special. So a lot of you guys are always saying, why do you only vlog, you know? Why do you only vlog? Why don't you do some challenge videos like you used to do? Well, for one, you know what? We don't get as many views. So, so for someone that says, you know, we we should do some more challenge videos, for some reason, a lot of people don't freaking watch them. But that's okay, you know what I mean?